Hey gang, Jeff here at Double Tap. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you today how we go ahead and rebarrel and set the headspace on a Savage bolt action rifle. Uh, this particular one is a Savage Edge 223. All right, as you'll see, I've got the barrel clamped into the vise here. Um, these generally aren't put on terribly tight, so I don't have to use the, the barrel vise to get it set up. What I'm going to do next, uh, barrel nut's already screwed onto the barrel. It's screwed all the way forward. And what I'm going to do next is set up the barrel wrench on here, if I can get all the grooves to line up. And you'll see we have the stripped action here, the bolt is going to be in the gun when we set the head space, not sure how well you can see this, but the extractor and the ejector are already removed from the bolt. There we go. What we're going to do is with the bolt closed, but the action still cocked. You can see the cocking piece there at the back of the bolt. All we're going to do is take our uh, Go headspace gauge, insert it into the chamber, and we're going to screw the action on until it stops. Once we have the action screwed on all the way here, there we go, just stops right there. I'm just going to back it off just a touch so that we give ourselves a little bit of room to play with. And what we're going to do at this point is tighten down our barrel nut. And I'm kind of limited for space here where I have this set up, so forgive me with my arms flashing around in front of the camera. Once the barrel nut's tightened down, the bolt still closes nice and easily on our go headspace gauge. Zoom that out for you. What we're going to do is ensure that the no-go gauge does not allow the bolt to close. So with the no-go gauge sitting in the chamber, we'll attempt to close the bolt and we'll see that it doesn't close. That's it. The headspace is set. This one's ready to go. Thanks for watching.